Hi everyone, uh, today we have to discuss the one more type of the circle breaker that is SL6 circuit breakers. So previously we have discussed the AS circuit breaker and uh, oil circuit breakers, air plus circuit breakers in that we are using uh, direct resistance, direct medium to two contacts air, oil. Okay. So instead of air and oil here, we are putting in the contacts of the circuit breaker. A fixed contact and non fixed contact, we are going to use the SF6 gas, okay. That is sulfur hexafluoride gas. We are using between the two contacts and it extinguishes the arc form when the fault occurs in the system. Is it clear? So, uh, in a circuit breaker, the SF6 gas is used as the arc quenching medium, means we have to remove the arc by using the SF6 gas. The SF6 Six gas or you can call as a sulfur hexafluoride gas has one atom of sulfur and six atoms of fluorine. The physical and chemical properties of gas are listed here. If you go through the physical properties, you need to tell all these again, right? Okay, this is physical property and we have to discuss, uh, just to go through the properties, that is chemical properties of SF6 gas, directory properties of SF6 gas, Okay, this is the water uh, about the SF6 gas. So, mainly we have to discuss the how it quenches the R form between the two contact. See here, here this is the fixed contact and this is the what moving contact. Okay, so when uh, the normal conditions uh, in the system at the normal condition, these two contacts are in closed. Okay, normal condition is that the air two contact is that close or that. So there is no arc between these two contacts. Okay, when the fault occurs, that is a uh, faulty current starts flowing through the circuit breaker. The moving contacts start moving. Okay, the moving contacts start moving here. Okay, that is uh, outward direction showing starts moving. When it starts to move. Uh, there is the R form between the two contacts. I can air the air reduction agatha R form agatha. So we have to remove that R, we have to quench that R form between the two contacts. We are suddenly uh, passing the SS6 gas through here. There is a gap are there, right? Nozzles are provided here, one nozzle and here, one nozzle. Through these nozzles, SF6, SS6 gas starts flowing here, and that, that SF6 gas. Uh, quenches the arc that remove the arc then how it removes and how this process is going on we have to discuss clearly by the uh, construction of by seeing the construction of the SF6 circuit breaker right see this is the what uh, proper type of SF6 circuit breaker okay uh, how SF6 gas quenching quenches the arc? The C SF6 gas is an electronegative gas. It is an electronegative gas. Means see here uh, in this we are showing that the dielectric attachment process, the associated attachment process, these two uh, equations. See when the uh, there is a fault in the system, the current carrying contact starts separating and the arc struck between them due to the ionization of surrounding medium, right? So that a huge number of free electrons generated due to the ionization process. When the SF6 gas molecules react with the free electrons, then they form a negative immobile ions, which is showing in the two equation. SF6 plus electron, it gives SF6 ele electron negative sign okay then sf6 plus e is equal to SF, sf5 plus chlorine yeah. okay. see here these negative immobile ions are heavier as compared to the electrons okay see between the fixed contact and moving contact there is arc form right so that arc is nothing but what ionization of the electrons uh, that is air as in, uh, air is already is there so there is a free movement of electrons, uh, ions between two contacts. So when the SF6 gas interferes here, SF6 combines the electrons, right? So these ions are heavier as compared to the free electrons. They do not get sufficient energy to, to leave the communicative 
uh, ionization in the gas under the electric field. Okay. So this process makes the dielectric strength of the medium very high and the arc gets extinguished as if it's gas cools and arc much effectively. Is it clear? If we have contact, one moving contact more touch na arc form maga. So that is arc form nothing but what? Ion, ion, ions are present. Uh, ionization due to ionization present. There are so many ions or uh, electrons are present between the two contacts. So when SF6 gas interfere there, SF6 combines with the electrons, with much heavier electrons. So if they have SF6 with the uh, combine naga thala, our SF6 gas in naga thala, it cools down. It cool down and it cools the uh, uh, arc means arc cool is but the arc is extinguishing. Okay, so arc down down it comes to zero. Therefore, current comes to zero. So we have to uh, cool the SF6 gas and the arc much effectively extinguished between the two contacts. Is it clear? See, SF6 occurred because uh, there are uh, types are there in here uh, non copper type single pressure copper type double pressure copper type okay so we have to see the copper type of the uh, sf6 gas okay see here single pressure copper type sf6 circuit breaker construction it is okay. a mobile cylinder is placed see mobile cylinder is placed which is also known as a copper cylinder this is the movable and this is a fixed okay the arrangement of the fixed and moving contact is showing in the first figure and second figure this first figure is it is in the normal condition two contacts are in closed position so when the fault occurs these two con uh, moving contacts separates moves and the dark form here this is the, at the abnormal condition means at the faulty condition circuit breaker how it works okay See how it works actually. See when there is a fault in a system. See when there is a fault in the system, then the moving contact start moving away from the fixed contact, and an arc will struck between. See here, this is the uh, closed condition is normal condition. When fault occurs, that fault in that faulty condition, heavy current, faulty current start moving in the circuit breaker. So that the moving contact start to move moves away from the fixed contact. So that there is a arc for there is a struck between the arc is struck between the two contact. The movable cylinder is also uh, moving along with the moving contact. Due to its movement, the S6 gas will start getting compressed because the distance is fixed here. See here, it is not so large. It is not so large. If you have contact with the solar, you see here, gas is filled right. So that 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 gas will comes uh, in the between the two contacts, okay. And it combines. There is uh, so many electrons, ions are present here. So this SF6 gas comes and combines with the electrons, so that the electrons are heavier than the normal electrons. And the SF6 gas. Here there is heavy energy is there. The arc is formed right. If heavy energy is there, heat is there. Heat is present right. So that we have to quickly extinguish the arc means we have to cool the arc or we can maintain the we can do uh, extinct uh, distance. We have to maintain it so that we can uh, extinguish the arc here. So when gas is uh, entered here. That gas combines the electrons. Electrons are very heavier. Then the SF6 gas comes to cool down. Okay, when it cools down, the arc is whatever is there in between the two contacts. The arc is cooled down. The arc getting extinguished. Okay, arc is going to remove here. So by using SF6 gas, after some time, a nozzle on a movable cylinder will open due to the gas pressure. The SF6 gas will come out through the nozzle. And it will pass through the arc here. Is it clear? When arc is formed, after some time, here nozzles are there. Okay, movable nozzles are there. Okay, cylinder will open. The due to uh, due to the gas pressure here, the gas is comes in uh, in the two contacts. Okay, it enters in the arc position so that it combines with the electrons and SF6 gas 
moles. Okay, so as in six gas cool item, R is also cool down, R is going to extinguish, the current comes to zero position. As we have discussed earlier, the R quenching process of SF6 gas, the same here is also we have to apply. Is it clear how the R T is quenching in this process? See here actually the SF6 gas is still being put in the movable cylinder. In the SF6 gas or the SF6 here. SF6 gas is still being put in the movable cylinder and the piston. Okay. So uh, whatever fixed piston is there, uh, it, it is still being put in the fixed piston and the movable cylinder. Is it clear? Initially, initially the gas is at the normal pressure. When the two nozzles are uh, two nozzles are open, the gas is passed during that uh, uh, faulty condition operation. So that gas comes here between the arc and it gets cools down. Okay. When there is a fault in the system, then the moving contact will start moving away from the fixed contact. When there is an arc is stuck between them, the cylinder is also moving so that when it starts moving, the SF6 gas enters the arc and it combines with the electrons, it gets cooled down the arc and it comes to zero level. R comes to zero means extinguish, completely extinguish and therefore the current becomes a zero here. Is it clear? See, this is what the report I have given. Go through this. Advantage of SF6 gas, no need to read all these terms. Just you read and uh, uh, know about the advantage of SF6 gas, disadvantage of SF6 gas. Okay.